So what's up, so I'm back to today. Got a really, really, really quick Duck and Battle video. We did that really quick. Of course, we got some good simple news, you know, not really leaks or rumors or whatever. But pretty much kind of confirmed, man, not confirmed, but you know. I did stuff like that. Um, unfortunately, though, this video I had to redo. This is a redo because the very first video I did, it was perfect. Like, it was perfect. I was done with everything, but I'd be ready to um, edit and stuff like that. But then my computer crashed because um, it was updating. So it kind of it, um, it looked for a uh, minute or So I had to um, wait for that to kind of come up. So yeah, hopefully, though, the video won't be too long, though. Like, the first video was, like, I think, like 20 minutes when I first did this because um, I was talking about a lot of points and stuff like that I want to go for because I was get hit right into the video. Because um, it was already pretty much long already. So yeah, of course, um, right here it says Joke and Air says tomorrow. Be, um, a fire day for Doken. Uh, for Will Global and JB, she's talking about the um, download celebration stuff. Again, we should definitely um, see in the um, game and stuff like that sooner. We'll probably see, like, you know, little hits and bits and stuff like that. Of course, with me, that was still kind of hot, though, where I am right now. It's actually it's really hot because it's just raining and stuff like that. So, yeah, of course, I'll have the um, Bob Blue, you know, sports cover in the background. So, you guys, you know, be. I might honestly probably, I might actually put my UI the film back there. So, you guys, it's going to be a little bit more presentable for me. Um, when I'm doing it during the daytime, because nowadays I'm just doing them late at night, because it's a lot easier personally for me, so they'll put in the background and stuff like that. Simple stuff like that, of course, but yeah, again, this is going to be a good fire day for Doken, though, of course, you already know it. So yeah, I'm going to head right into this video, though, my thing went off, my, um, um, camera went off there. So yeah, um, of course, let's go for Global right here, we got Chain Battle, the official website and stuff like that. I you know it's going to be like gameplay and stuff like that on Doken's official website, so we'll go ahead and check that out, um, that out and stuff like that, you like the Doken website, because I don't have a loot or anything like that, so yeah. Again, let's go to images and stuff like that below probably for you guys so it can be a lot easier um i'll do the first couple images because i don't really, really need to give me one second actually because i probably don't need to spend um, too much time on this stuff but yeah um chamber of course you know this is the official teaser for it from global so um i kind of just picked this up i was like you know what because i'm already doing global and this is both um this is a dual celebration for both, for both global and jp so i might as well just put this up already i um, was only coming for global though this part right here because chamber is already on jp pretty much but yeah um just a little something i just want to kind of put it in there of course for video purposes but yeah pretty nice stuff below of course um next one is right here um for global and jp right here and um, this is the new oh okay now i'm gonna zoom in like that so yeah um, this is on um, the new infinite dragon ball stage nine global did put six one early uh for you for six stuff like that kind of did make sense because you know the whole capital celebration that really highly more makes more sense even though it came a little bit later i think on jp and global but i can't remember honestly it's been a minute since i actually did those videos but yeah because i kind of mix up a lot of stuff from my other like you know other videos with like other videos so it kind of gets all points in together and sometimes it's hard to kind of find it though because i've done so many videos for joking um my channel probably probably a thousand with the down celebration stuff. So, yeah, we already know we got like, five thousand things leaked. I know we got like partner super attack leaks. Like you know when you're in the rotation, you know, you know like, uh, like a partner super attack or whatever. Um, I think they do a video. I have it ready to go. I'll probably upload this one tonight and then upload that one like, a couple hours later because you know um, late night and stuff like that. Of course, yeah. Oh, I actually got a win for my shorts. Shorts on um, underarms. Underarms. Um, shorts. Let's say short this. But yeah, of course, this is um, Dragon Ball Stage 9. Probably gonna be boot, um, Infinite Dragon Ball Stage 9, of course, you know. For Global, I think it leaves, I think, in about 24 hours. I think it's already left from Global. So we're probably gonna see that maybe in a couple more days, you know, then we're gonna see, like, you know, Dell Celebration stuff. Woohoo! We'll probably see this, um, of course, later on in the game. So yeah, again, all those videos, as soon as I'm done with it, I use like, when I'm done editing and stuff like that. And I can live in the chamber for 5,000 years. I'm gonna rush out this video as soon as I can. I'm not gonna upload it straight ahead, because I'm not, I'm not the, the, that type of person. Because I had to edit it and stuff like that, make sure that it's going well, stuff like that, you know, make it a little bit presentable. Stuff like that for you guys. And of course, right here, um, we got announced for Global as well. And right here, we had the Boost Saga Store event. The only reason this is here for Global, really, is because um, the physical support type units are getting the physical supports are getting their awakenings and their medals are tied to this event. They're making their awakening medals are tied to this event. That's the only reason why they push this early. A lot of people are thinking, like, oh yeah, go take some Buki come early. No, they're not. They only come in November. They always bring those, like, that, uh, those are kind of tied to Tanabata slash Thank You Celebration for Global. They kind of combine it into one. For Global, it's like a Thank You Celebration. If you guys don't know about that, that's gonna be in November. Who? Go tanks, um, like tech food, tech trips from Trump from Super Blue. Che um, and it, specifically go tanks, they are coming for Global in November. They always put that time slot. So I don't know what they can do for October. Maybe a fill celebration, maybe they'll save, you know, like where Slugs EZA, um, maybe Freeze EZA, maybe they'll save all that. Because I know everybody thinking of part two, they come for Global. Maybe for Kefla, I don't know, because was, there was a second part, but it was just going over T Bardock Day equipment, you know, Bardock, you know, T Bardock equipment. That was tied to, um, you know, that, I mean, that, I don't think that was tied to Chain Battle specifically. They're, they're going to probably wait for Chain Battle to introduce that type of thing. Because, like, um, take this week, you know, um, farm it out every day, if it, it definitely, you know, three times a day or whatever. Only with Team Bardock units, so you can, um, get them awakened and stuff like that. You know, I look in the eye of a buff for you guys, of course. You know, all this stuff I'll in the eye of a buff or somewhere around me. Maybe not around me, though, because I tend to forget that type of thing. But realistically, though, this only reason I like this event is that 
course, with, um, you can farm a new chocolate item right there where it says gourmet chocolate. Um, we're farm a new Angel Goku, based from Angel Goku, a new Gohan, um, that Doki Wake is the ultimate Gohan. So if you want to farm them out easier, stuff like that. Even though those are free ultimate Gohan from the power event. But if you really want to get more, more of your ultimate Gohan farmed out already, that's good. Of course, a new Goten. It should have been red because he's on STR. Because, you know, Goku's like, you know, Angel, stuff like that. It's physical. Gohan, and, you know, that's why it's there. I don't know why Goten's attack. I don't know. Unless, you know, global changes and stuff, stuff like that. Like, oh yeah, it's Goten's tech now. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, I'm just, of course, a little typical stuff like that. Right here, it's basically Goresh going over, like, the, um, new thing, um, he was kind of talking about with the, um, new Doki, you know, V-Jump and stuff like that. You know, the end of Doki or whatever. Quite fine on the Doki end, um, necessarily, you know, for the V-Jump and stuff like that. You know, typical stuff like, like Doki's gonna end, it's not gonna end. It makes way too much money. Um, the whole, you know, boost celebration, stuff like that, of course. You know, typical stuff like that, of course. I said we were seeing a special, um, treasure item, basically, based on the amount of stones used over the game. From a certain period of time to now. Basically, I think from that time of recording, I know, actually last year at the time of recording, last year, um, we did actually get the down celebration and bonus stuff like that. You know, we got the, um, and the countdown and stuff like that. We'll probably see that in a couple, we'll probably see that tonight or in a couple more days. We'll probably see that. Um, not during reset because you know, everybody at the moment made a video on it, but we'll probably see it maybe in a couple more hours. We'll probably see the, um, for global, I don't know, we're gonna go over this video though, but I don't know what time I'm gonna do, but it's probably gonna be like, oh yeah, we're gonna get a download celebration stuff, you know, login bonuses and stuff like that, typical stuff, so don't go over, you know, tickets for the banner. Never really tickets, I think they'll give out stones and stuff like that, maybe tickets for the banner. As, you know, there's gonna be a regular download celebration banner. Basically, you know, for every stones, all 50 stones are used in the game from a certain point on to now, um, we'll have, um, Oh yeah, I see you talking about this. So, so basically, for every stone used in the game, from I think around this time last year, literally this time last year on the twentieth, because they had a whole announcement about it when they um, did the whole demo celebration last year with Gohan himself. Everybody got really hyped and stuff like that. A lot of people are asking, "Where's the tickets? How do you get the tickets and stuff like that?" I know a lot of people watch that video. Basically, going on about okay, you can get tickets. Um, you know, for every 50 stones used in the game. You get one, um, I think it's like one ticket for every stone 50 stones used in the game from last year around this time to now. So again, like I said, they're even right there. That's, um, I think it's, um, it's that one. Then of course, it's, I think it's gonna be like a second one maybe, where you can, um, or I don't know, they, I don't, they don't really say it here, but they also mentioned that again, which is kind of weird, because it's only, you know, for every 50 stones used in the game. There's like a regular ticket banner. But also on um, uh, certain days, stuff like that. I said, I think, I think it's like on, yeah, certain days, stuff like that. Basically, you have one special treasure for every 50 stones you've used. Um, I get like a special treasure where you can um, summon and get the unit or get a unit that you really want. It's like getting the coins, you know, um, redstone stuff like that where you get a chance to get a unit. I think that's always applying right here. I just had the website pulled up right here. We're basically talking about that. Uh, it's right here just talking about like download celebration stuff. Um, typical stuff right here, basically blah blah blah. Download celebration, you know, it's coming and stuff like that. You know, people are hyped about it. I pretty much see that. It's really good though. It's about to be really good. Um, right here is basically talking about this, you know, regular stone right here. Basically, it's saying, yeah, and a hidden treasure. It says and a hidden treasure. So basically, every for every 50 stones used in the game and stuff like that, it'll be like, oh yeah, here's a ticket and stuff like that. That's simple. They did it last year around this time. So yeah, basically, cut off points and stuff like that. Kind of like how they, what they do with the Confess Freeze download celebrations where they have certain cut off points. Right here, basically, a special treasure you can get. It's like a, the Tana bottle strip and stuff like that. Make a change to get a unit again. Um, basically, yeah, like the wish ship. It's kind of gonna be like this, though. We have like certain cutoff points for Doki Fest units. That's how ticket bearings usually are. I feel like, like this again. A lot of people think it trickles and muscle could be on here. If you go on the cooler, probably not future go on the cooler because I feel like that was like February slash March. I want to say. Um, it's been, I think it's October for, it was October for JP. Yeah, it was. Dynamic Goku came out in October for Goku. Um, again, like all the Doki Fest units are gonna be on here and stuff like that. Not these ones specifically. Like, they're gonna have like certain cutoff points and stuff like that. It's kind of talking about right here. But, like, LR got, you know, LR banners. Because, you know, LR's gonna be with this banner and stuff like that. Right here, the thing is talking about, you know, it's probably gonna have a certain cutoff point for Cooler and Future Gohan War. They're probably not gonna be on the banner though, but if they are, I'm gonna be really shocked. Because at this time, I feel like they really should come back, personally, for Global Bomb and Chippy. For, for Global mainly, because they haven't came back. Maybe they could put on for Global, because they have not been back since they actually released. And uh, it's been about a couple months, I think, two or three months for like for Cooler. Right? No, Cooler came out, I think, like in March, February for Global. Same thing as Beerus. So, yeah, Physical Beerus is definitely not going to be on here because that's way too soon. Um, yeah, I, I think talking about like, all these guys could be on there. I thought like Shogun Samasu could. I thought like they're not going to make it, but they could. And LR is talking about this as well. I think LR Jerry's not could be on here. Maybe not Spare Moments or Goku. For JP, he probably could because he's been almost in every banner nowadays. Um, for Global may not, because he's only been out for two, three months. Again, they're gonna have certain cutoff points, you gotta calculate the type of thing. Um, maybe LR Broly and Frieza not gonna be on here. Frieza, actually, I think, I know he definitely did come out. I see, I was at graduation. It was my graduation, um, dinner. I was really at, um, eating pancakes at a restaurant where you can serve breakfast and stuff like that. I saw LR Frieza, a couple, I think waitress, like, was talking stuff like that, kind of. Um, 
Then I kind of looked over a little bit and got a lot of previous leaks and stuff like that. So yeah, I actually did do a video for that though. Um, way back, this is like um, early the day I graduated and stuff like that. So that kind of came out. I think my internet was down, so I couldn't do a news video for it. But yeah, again, starting stuff like that. Of course, you know, um, we're gonna have like you know the final you know chapter for like and stuff like that. Kind of talking about that. A new free play um Goku and Hercule from the event. It, they were just the V jump um already. So yeah, it, uh, again, I'll link those videos somewhere around here. I was kind of talking about that. Um, of course, uh, all of Hercules on um, the event and stuff like that is going to be um, up to stuff like that, you know, for him. Like, his legendary campaign and EZA. But, again, you know, free play. It's probably like Blue Saga. You know, you can use Blue Saga, EZA, and stuff like that. For all of Hercules, of course, it's going to be LR campaign and his EZA for both Global and JP. Again, though, 100 free stones for Global versus JP. Um, that's how it's going to be structured. Um, if you're talking about history event, I went over that already. The um, Dover Fest banners, how they're going to be, and stuff like that. A lot of people think, and they just put these up as examples. Um, definitely Super Vegito. Definitely like a base, not a base form transforming, because we already have a base form transforming the blue. I don't know, it could be like a base form, you know, that goes into Super Vegito, or like I said, for LR part, part 2. Um, uh, for part 2, it's probably going to be Kid Buu and Gohan, uh, Goku, specifically. I kind of feel like that, because, um, you know, Kim Buu can be like, you know, regular unit, regular LR, um, you know, unique unit, and like, Goku have the active skill for him and Vegeta, you know, to do Spare Bomb and stuff like that. I highly think those are going to be part two LRs for both Boba and JP personally, though, because I do like, I do really do like, I really do like the Dawn Celebration stuff that's both Boba and JP. So it's a struggle going back and forth, you know, this is his, that, that, that. The little banners for the Jump Fest will be different, though. Now they're just going over, it's like, okay, Goku and, um, like, the LRs, Goku, Gohan, and, you know, they could be back and stuff like that. Gohan, definitely Gohan itself, because they were, um, you know, last year down celebration, the Goku and Freezer were on their banner last year. That highly makes sense, Gold versus JP stuff, you know, collaboration. It doesn't really matter, though, because the units are going to be available with, um, during the anniversaries, they're going to be available, definitely. Right here, talking about this as well, Gold versus JP, they're going to be specific events, like the Hercule stack on tile event last year, where you basically had different tiles and stuff like that, use a specific category. They brought that back, they tend to brought that back. They like the, um, plenty of machine event, you can do it indefinitely. They're probably gonna bring that back, like a Blue Saga event where you got basically, you know, be like, be, I don't know, you could be like down like Bobby Lee's Hinch Band, the ship and stuff like that, the food your work. It could be like, you know, you're fighting against Pupu Vijayamu, Pui Pui, Yakon, or Deborah and stuff like that, the Bobby or whatever. Um, you gotta use like a certain category or a certain amount of units. Blue Saga will probably definitely be on there. Um, you know, basically, you can do like nukers and stuff like that. Essentially, you know, one day you can be like movie bosses, movie heroes, but we move like hero theme and stuff like that. I feel like that definitely be on there. Of course, you can have a winning and burging um, winner and versus loser um, again though for that event. LR banner, like it was last year, where we had um, LR androids and stuff like that. And we had like a two LR banners. Um, bug out, but again, the two LRs, they usually do one. They were thousand million bad guys go through that. It's like, oh my god, ugh. Here, I think someone actually comment down here on Goku, Goku and um, Hercules Fusion, I think. I like a fusion of Goku and Hercule on um, Goku kind of imagined. I think it's on here anymore. I think that on um, the comments. But yeah, um, that could be like a possibility for like a, you know, exchange card or whatever. Honestly, that would be kind of cool though. You know, loser would get like a Deku, or uh, you know, Goku and Dende's fusion name. Deku. I'm thinking it's like, man, probably not going to feel that though. But yeah. Um, because if you jump the deck, you did tease out a new Goku and Hercule that are going to be from the replay event. And never, no one, everybody's like, oh yeah, they're winning and losing a card. But I don't know, for all we know, it could be like a Super Vegito and like a, you know, a Super Vegito um, and Buhan. For all we know, I don't know, it could be like that. Or, you know, again, we don't even know, like, all this. We, again, it could be like anything at this point. You know, like, a, yeah, Boo and Hercule or something like that. You know, loser would be like, you know, Fat Boo, you know, Skinny Boo or whatever. I don't know. I don't know, just throwing out stuff like that. I don't know, Bandai Spies, you know, people kind of watch the stuff. Same. I get a little stuff like that. I don't know, just kind of going over that. But yeah, for Download Celebration Banner, I can't wait for that. It's like, it's gonna be kind of like the strip wish. That would be kind of cool though, to see. You, know, you can pick like one of these token humans down here. And of course, I'm gonna probably be on here or if you go on, you know, certain cutoff points, they have to kind of do that. Exactly like that, that kind of thing. Because in the boss rush, a lot of people really want boss rush and stuff like that. It's like, oh yeah, why don't we use boss rush every um, event? You know, they gotta kind of, you know, go over and, you know, kind of refresh, you know. Not really refresh, they gotta kind of um, have certain cutoff points for like use stuff like that, they had to do that type of thing, they had to consider that. They can't just keep thinking about themselves a lot. I'm just saying. Personally though, I thought like they probably wouldn't do that. But yeah, last year around this time, literally the time was recording last year, you had the countdown, so probably maybe a couple more hours we'll see the countdown and stuff like that. Again, it was on the 19th. Um, this year, doing it a little bit late though, you know, last year we had all early. This year, probably doing it all late. I did that with the down celebration for, specifically for Gogeta and Mega, it was kind of late in the years, but I remember, I think my internet was out the moment I got upstairs, like, the moment I was up here, right over here, go, like, it was, like, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Mega were confirmed. And I was, like, I did a video for it, I was, like, holy crap. I was, like, holy crap. They were confirmed. I did a video for them and stuff like that. Um, doing 200 million, I think. I think it's, like, what, 100 million downloads? I can't, it's been a long time, but yeah. Again, just clarifying, this it was last year and stuff like that, and they run the celebration again, and probably run the second of like, the size of August. This is the goal of probably get their new Joe Confession or whatever. They're not gonna really, goal isn't really cool if I do, like, anniversaries. JP kind of does. They, do, they don't do unit for like a good while then. And again, we got like a new Doka Fest unit. Um, maybe about the time we hit like, you know, um, 
For JB, you'll probably like have a Global and Joker Fishing at the same time like we did down with beers. And uh, cooler, they came out literally at the same time for Global. So yeah, Global and JP respectively. Physical beers came out for JP, and of course, um, cooler came out for Global specifically. SCR Global. But, yeah. Um, again though, um, we will see all this stuff later on in the game. In a couple, maybe in a couple more hours. I don't know how it's gonna be. But yeah, um, this is how the download celebration banner is probably gonna be. Um, you know, for like how when they released the Joker Fest when they specifically released going on server on the 29th last year. Or so we can probably see that or the 30th. Or the 31st. They tend to, um, kind of move it up and stuff like that. I don't know. They always redo the end of the month. Maybe, I don't know, this year they're kind of be different. Of course, we could have a new event where you can get like, you know, 20 stones a day as it's 100 and stuff like that. You know, like we had a launch event last year and stuff like that. Which was pretty cool. I think right here's the down celebration banner. Uh, this is how it's gonna be structured and stuff like that. You know, all the Duck Fest LRs are gonna be on here. This is how it's gonna be though. Of course, it's gonna be probably like one where basically for every 50 cents of the game, this is how it's gonna be structured. You get tickets and stuff like that. You know, during like, you know, I think, I don't think JP got um, tickets for their prizes and stuff like that. Um, I don't think Google what JP did because they never really give out tickets like this, like for the ticket banner for the down celebration. But it'd probably be like, it'd probably be like a regular ticket banner or something like that. Um, I think they, they, they have not done that at all, really. They kind of wait, like, they kind of do like this. Where it has like you know for every fifty cents used for every fifty cents used in the game you get um summon tickets but I think they're probably gonna do that again have like a separate one where basically every fifty cents used in the game you get like you know exchange items and stuff like that blah 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 um we get like you know the free your free drop fishing or whatever like red coins like, it's like getting red coins and you know we can get units in the bubble shop of course you know it's probably like a special ticket banner or whatever as they did look up um for LR cutoff points um I had this up already um that's why I said this for last um I think I know definitely. Um, this would go on sale banners last year. Um, just kind of like clarifying goal for that. This is how it's probably gonna be, you know, LRs and stuff like that. You know, LR, there's always been LRs and stuff like that. They're probably gonna do it again. LR Joker Fest. Let's do, change it up, you know, do Lucky War, but I highly doubt it's gonna do LRs. They did it last year, so they're probably gonna do it again. You know, first one could probably be like Super Vegito. Second one probably be like, you know, um, you know, um, uh, Angel Vegeta, Super Saiyan Angel Vegeta, uh, Vegeta transformed into Super Saiyan Angel or whatever. Oh, uh, uh, you know, Super Vegeta, you know, Su Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta or whatever. I don't know. I, I just said that twice. But yeah, and again, again Gohan's banner was kind of bad. Again, last year, uh, for Vegeta, physical Vegeta right there, based on Vegeta, he was um, transforming Trunks. And for Super Boo, it was um, Zamasu. Again, the banners are going to be different. I think it was Hero and Villain, respectively, because I know they did it for the um, Dell Celebration for JP. They changed it up because Global um, was, it was a Hero or Villain theme. So, yeah, this year probably would be Hero and Villain theme. It could be better for villains because there's not that much in the game, so you're going to have a higher chance. Well, these guys, for me though, it's going to be trash because usually second banners I always, always have good stuff on that banner. For me though, it's going to be bad. Like, this is probably going to be bad because I, I think ever since I know Super Saiyan 4, Omega and the Omega um, and. Um, the Jada. I pulled them really easy. I pulled them like first minute they came out. Um, yeah, that I didn't pull Jeff from Goku and Frieza. I pulled Jeff from Goku a year later. I didn't pull Jeff from Frieza at all. And last year I did not pull Gohan or Cell. So I was like, meh. I mean, hey, I don't know, this year could be different. I don't know how it's going to be. But yeah, I bet it's going to probably be structured like this, but I have to have like, you know, 10 feature units, 11 or however you feel like it. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 10, yeah, 10 units. It's going to be 10 units, so the LR is going to be harder to pull. Yeah, it's going to be bad. So, yeah, for LR, the rates are going to be bad. For, so, yeah, again, we'll probably get like a new Boo, you know, Bobbity or whatever in the background. Yeah, we can use like a Bobbity. I don't know. Because, um, you know, because last year they had like, you know, two separate two new units. They have a little, every new banner has a new side unit. It does like, you know, it's kind of typical, you know, new story event, you know, side unit. Um, and, yeah, typical stuff like that. It was just a matter of what. But, yeah. And that's how banners probably going to be structured. And for LR cutoff points specifically, for Global, I want to say it's going to be not Super Mario Zord Goku because it just came out about three months ago. Maybe it could be, I don't know, they're probably not going to do that. They could still add them on the banner. Of course, Kill Khalifa, that's, um, Mighty Mass, are all going to be on there. Typical ones are going to be on there. God Goku probably going to be on there. You got Goku for both Global and JP may not be on there, but he has been out longer on Global than he was JP. He's been like, what, like two, maybe three months since he came out? So, I know he came out with Kepler. I know Yo Goku came out with Kepler, and that was really obvious because of this event. Um, Kepler's event did take you, uh, you had to use Yo Goku to do more damage, and that was kind of obvious he was coming in part two, so. Kind of easy. He might not be on the banner either. Maybe not full power freezer or Broly, maybe, but I feel like they are. And for JP and stuff like that, I feel like it'll, it'll probably all be the same and stuff like that. I'm um, probably take up LR Tech Jr. because I'm not gonna put him on there. So, these are all the current LRs for um J for Global and JP right now. Um, just JP Global does not have Jiren, and of course JP has Jiren. But yeah, again, I'm um, already gonna go those today again though. Um, again, the guy goes good to definitely be on there. Maybe Broly Chin and Limo and Rose might not be on there for Global because they just came out, and maybe they'll take off. Um, Spare moments, spare, spare, spare moments or Goku, maybe UI Goku. But for JP, the bug, have like all of them besides UI Goku and um, 
Probably Jiren, and maybe not Broly or, you know, Freeze and stuff like that, because, you know, they were only there last year. So maybe, I don't know, maybe it's that Jiren or whatever. But yeah, again, so we really want to go about today. Again, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, though. But yeah, um, that's pretty much um stuff for kind of getting for Dallas Celebration, because some leaks, such rumors around here, and stuff like that. So yeah, maybe a couple more hours we'll see some more stuff for Doki and stuff like that. Again, that's all we really want to go about today. Again, all the other videos will be around me, spread it and stuff like that. Going to really go to end, end it here. So yeah, what do you think about the new, you know, exchange, you know, um, stripper wish, you know, slash, you know, red coin, like either way, get, like, you know, every 50 cents using the game, you get, like, you know, one of the free, you know, one of these probably joking fish units for free. I was gonna probably end up putting Trust Transformer Freezer Frieza because I have pretty much everybody on there besides Trust Transformer and Frieza, Interest 17. I'm gonna head to pick up him, maybe. Um, even though they've been back on 5,000 bears, I'm not for them at all. Um, AGS, Super Vegeta, and Kaiken Blue Goku. Again, it's all, it's all I need. Anyway, else, I don't care because I, I usually go for like one duplicate. But yeah, gonna go ahead and end the video here though. So yeah, see you guys later though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Oh, good job again though. What do you guys think? Um, about all this stuff. Pretty cool stuff. I love it. It's gonna be awesome. Great. Beautiful. So yeah, see you guys later though. Again though. Peace out.